Okay. Bill Nye, best actor in the tape, uh, miniseries. Hi, thank you. How are you doing? Yeah. Hello. Um, Emily just mentioned that there's, you have an ongoing joke that you would tease her and be dad-like, was the way she put it, with uh, things that made her cringe on the set. What were those things? Well, any reference to the fact that I may have, at any point in my life, had any kind of romantic contact with a member of the opposite sex used to render Emily almost physically nauseous. So she's not hard to wind up. She didn't know, I think she thought for about, and it was only about halfway through the shooting that she realized I wasn't the science guy. <laughs> and she certainly, she certainly couldn't spell or pronounce my name, which was refreshing. And um, no, she was wonderful, Emily, and I was, very, uh, I was very, very happy and very lucky to have her play my daughter. And the work that we did together is some of the most satisfying work that I've ever done in my life. And I am very, very, very pleased that she was honored tonight in the way that she was, and it's quite right too. It was a great pleasure to do business with her. She's a wonderful actress, apart from being, you know, enchanting and adorable, and now she owes me money. H Hello. Have you actually ever really been confused for Bill Nye the Science Guy? Yeah, when my daughter was small. Well, I've disappointed a lot of small children over the years. When my daughter first started school, they were all very excited to meet Bill Nye, the science guy, until they met me and realized I was the other Bill Nye. Uh, so, but I've never, actually, I've never actually seen Bill Nye, the science guy, so I don't know if we resemble one another in any other way apart from our names. Hi. Pretty good cavalcade of um, supporting roles, and now you're moving more into uh, leading man roles. Did you expect that being the personification of dry English wit would get you so far, question mark. Uh, no, I didn't. I never expected uh, any of it, really. Um, I'm, uh, I'm just very pleased. I always wanted to, my, my expectations were pretty low early on. I just, or at least they weren't that high. I simply wanted to be, I wanted somebody one, at one point or other to say my name and the word actor in the same sentence in a sort of casual way. I wanted just to be accepted into that community. And I wanted also to, you know, the idea that I could make a living being an actor was something that was outside of anybody, anybody's experience that I knew. And the fact that I've not only been able to do that, but to be able to do other things as well is, is I've, I've never really gotten over it. I'm very pleased that, you know, latterly I've had, uh, I've become due to, uh, largely due to Love Actually and Richard Curtis, I've become kind of more useful around the place in terms of casting. So I'm, I'm easier to cast now in a way that I perhaps wasn't before. So for that, I'm very, very grateful to Richard, obviously. And I'm currently working with David Hare in New York in a play with Julianne Moore, which is a, a, a daily delight. And, uh, and David Hare also has been extremely, uh, I mean, he's, I've worked with him more than I've worked with anybody else, and he's been extremely influential in my professional life. And getting great reviews for it, too, I suppose. Well, thank you, yeah. yeah. It's uh, gone well. Mr. Nye, on that oh, same... Oh. Good, thank you. Those days are gone. Thank you. 